Hey guys, welcome back. So today's gonna be very exciting because I just went into Powerland and I just randomly spent like 15 pounds on some random Christmassy things that I wanted to show you guys. I got some cleaning products. I've got a little DIY idea in there for an advent calendar and other things as well, you know? You go into Powerland to buy one thing and you come out buying like 15 things. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start I actually picked up the cutest bag for all my stuff because if you guys saw my home bargains haul, you saw I bought a big bag for all the Christmas presents, which I actually broke. So now I've got another one because we need that to take gifts home to my family. So I went for this gorgeous one, which is the snowman and the snow dog. Gosh, I'm so excited, you guys, literally. Right, we have some random stuff. First of all, I bought a Dr. Pepsi Zero because I love Dr. Pepsi. Dr. Pepper, but I'm trying to be good, so I got the zero sugar one. I'm gonna go and chuck it in my um, my fridge. Right, it's in the fridge, guys, it's in the fridge. So, we're gonna go and get started. Oh my God, I'm actually so excited to show you guys what I bought. So first of all, I needed to get some more of my absolute fave Febreze fabric freshener. Now the one that I bought last time was the lavender one, but they didn't have that anymore, so I just got a classic. And this was two pounds. And then I picked up some of this stuff, which I saw it and I was like, this is so cute. And it's in the scent of festive pine. And it is a deodorizer, which you put on your carpets and then you just hoover them up. So we have like carpets all in our living room area and we have like one big rug on the ground which is just behind me. And the thing is like sometimes I feel like it could do with a bit of a fresh, freshen up. And I usually just spray this fabric softener, but I just went ahead and I picked up this one which looks really nice. And I'm gonna be doing a speed clean winter edition or Christmas edition speed clean. Um, I'm gonna be filming that sometime this week and it'll be going up next Wednesday. So obviously I wanted to pick up some new cleaning bits and bobs and make it a bit more festive. Well, that smells lovely. It's very strong. Um, I don't know if it's a good idea for me to be smelling it that close. But it definitely smells like pine, which is lovely. Like fake Christmas tree. No, real Christmas tree. Really nice and fresh. Festive pine. Very exciting. So I picked that up. That was only a pound and I just thought I had to get the Christmassy one. Also what's really cute is that it has inside of it apparently a um, Santa's footprint little like outline which is really cute so if you have kids this is great because you can not only use it to clean and freshen up your carpets but you can also use it to create little Santa's footprints on Christmas Eve and then on Christmas Day you can just hoover up and you're gonna have fresh Christmas Eve something carpets and also very exciting for kids so that's really cool um, and for two pounds, I mean for a pound, you literally can't go wrong. The next thing I picked up was a, another candle because not like I need any more candles, but these are actually one of my favorite ones. This particular smell from Glade, which is spiced amber apple cinnamon. It's lovely. It literally just reminds me of Christmas. Like when I was younger, my mom used to love buying Glade candles. She used to get them all the time. And this one just smells lovely. It just reminds me of like being young and having Christmas with my mom. So it's lovely. It smells gorgeous, literally amazing so that'll be going in the living room i already got a christmas candle for our bedroom or oh, maybe i'll put this one in the bedroom and then i'll put another one in the living room that i have i'll figure it out i got so much christmasy stuff this year like i went all out so that is really exciting that was two pounds and they had another one like a vanilla one as well which is really nice um the next thing that i picked up is for the bathroom I was just thinking I didn't buy a candle for the bathroom, but then I remembered that I actually bought the Febreze Spiced Apple Air Freshener. And apparently, you can test it on here. Oh, guys, that is lovely. That actually smells amazing. That just smells like spiced apples. That is really lovely. I mean, Febreze and Glade, I feel like they're kind of in competition with each other. But equally, they both are just as good, I find. But yeah, that was only two pounds as well. So I'm gonna pop that in the bathroom after I finish filming this video. Um, so then I also picked up for, so I'll just show you guys the stuff that I got for Andrew's advent calendar. So basically I went into Poundland and they had no advent calendars at all and they didn't have any in Asda. And I was like freaking out, I was like crap, like it's the day before we're meant to start advent, so tomorrow's the 1st of December. 
and I was like crap we didn't get him one and we have the that and it does not I was like I'm just gonna have to make one which I feel like he would appreciate more so this is like my little hack if you guys are struggling with an idea as well this video will be going up after yeah this video will be going up after we start like advent but it's fine like it's a few days later and also it'll be one day later and also for next year I'm sure if you guys are watching this video and it's like a year later then before Christmas then you could do this before advent starts so in Powerland, they had these really cute little boxes and this one just says meh Christmas. The other one was pink and I was like, he's not gonna like pink, so I'm gonna have to get red. So I just picked this little box up. It was only a pound. And my idea is for Christmas Eve, I got him his main little Christmas Eve gift because he loves orange, Terry's chocolate orange. And they now do Terry's chocolate orange bars, guys. They do Terry's chocolate orange bars. Like, what the heck? So I was like, I have to buy him that. Um, and it was only a pound, so that's gonna go like in the base of here and I'm gonna put on top of it um, some wrapping paper or actually you might brush it up. I might just put like a layer of wrapping paper on top. And then I also got to go in the bottom as well, a little reindeer softening sheet mask, which will go in the bottom too. And then I'm just gonna pop on top of that like a layer of wrapping paper. And then, for the 23 chocolates, because you do 20, yeah, you have 24 in total, so 23 chocolates. I just picked up some of these cute little um, poker chip milk chocolate coins, which are really cute. I was gonna get him just some normal ones, but these are like poker kind of themed, and I just thought they were quite sweet. So I was like, he's not really into gambling on poker, but I was like, it's cute. I'll get him that anyway, it's a bit more masculine, so I'm gonna put in 23 of those into the box. and. On top, I'm gonna write Andrew's Advent calendar. So yeah, that's what that's my idea. I thought that was cute if you guys were struggling. It was like a last minute idea, so I wasn't really too sure if it was gonna be okay, but I was like, you know what? This is just all that we're gonna have to do. And then they were doing this kind of thing for charity where you'd buy a box of these for a pound and they would donate it to charity, um, to homeless shelter. So I was like, yeah, of course, I'll pick these up. I have loads of candy cane, but you can never go wrong with more candy cane. You can give it, put it in people's gifts with them, people's stockings, hang it on the tree. I've got a little candy cane jar in the corner, which now I can add more of these two. So we're all good. We don't, we could do with more all the time. And then I had to get, because I actually saw somebody creating a Lotus um, hot chocolate. I think it was a Lotus hot chocolate. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. So it's the Lotus Biscoff Spread hot chocolate and it had oat milk and then Biscoff Spread, cinnamon, and cream on top and I think it's like a toffee syrup and a little biscuit you put inside. It's right on TikTok. So I thought I had to pick up some spread to do that, which I thought was really cute. And I feel like this is something that is gonna be really addictive and that I'm gonna eat addictively. I've actually never tried it, I've never smelled it before. So I'm gonna smell it now, but it's my actual first time smelling this. Oh my God, that smells insane. Oh, it smells so good. You know what? I think now I know what those Lotus biscuits are. They're like the little hotel biscuits, aren't they? Because I didn't know what they were. I never tried them before. This smells divine. This is going to be amazing. I feel like I could put this on in my oats, maybe. A tablespoon of it in oats would be quite nice. Oh my god, I'm going to do that. Make a little protein oats. So, I just saw someone making protein oats with Lotus biscuits spread, so I was like, I want to try it. But anyways, that's what I bought. Just smells amazing. It was a pound. And last but not least, of course, I had to pick up some gum because we always need gum. Always in the corner of our flat. Just have to pack up these little Mentos. These are my favorite, the bubble and fresh ones. Um, I do like the minty ones, but I prefer bubble gum, chewing gum, to be honest, because I just like the taste of it. Sugar free, you get 42 pieces for a pound. So you actually can't really go wrong with that. And yeah. And of course, my little snowman bag, which is really cute. And that was a pound, I think, or a pound. Yeah, it was a pound. Um, the thing is in Poundland, we don't really like kind of promote plastic bags at all. I don't think they even do them anymore. So you kind of have to bring your own bag or buy one when you're there. And I always forget to buy one or bring one with me. So I just picked that up, but it's good for putting gifts in and for taking them home with me. But I actually wanted to just show you guys my uh, Christmas box because you know, I had to do it. So I got a Sharpie. I put on all the little numbers on the little gold coins. I wrapped up the face mask and the chocolate in some of this kind of like paper, Christmasy paper, put it at the bottom 
then I've just like done numbers because I feel like it's more fun if you have to find the numbers. Although I feel like it might get irritating because like where's number one? I don't even know where number one is, but yeah. So that'll be fun. And then I've just on top of the box just written down Andrew Wilson 2020 Abby Hammer. 24 days because that's all it is. So I've got 22 chocolates and then the main little Christmas Eve gift. Um yeah, so I wanted to just show you guys that quickly. And if you're interested. I've got my fireplace on in the background. I put some of those um, little, what are they called? What are they called, guys? Candy canes on the Christmas tree. And that's my advent calendar over there. I have a Percy Pig one. Stockings up here. You guys would have seen this in the Decorate With Us for Christmas, but I wanted to kind of give you guys a bit more of an update in case you haven't. Um, I've got another candle over here as well, and I moved that over there. And then I've just got lots of little Christmasy bits. And I also picked up some potpourri two which is cinnamon scented and then i got a little christmas plant as well but that's pretty much how the flat is looking i also got some of these to start burning starting from tomorrow as well um and then i put that glade candle in our bedroom so yeah that is pretty much everything i got i'm very excited i'm very grateful um for all of this honestly i'm very excited for christmas you know when you get that little excitement in your stomach and you can just feel it and you're like that's how i feel right now um but yeah that is everything I picked up. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure that you know you subscribe, you give me a thumbs up, you put the notification bell on, check out my Insta, which is gonna be here as it always is. Um, because that really does help me out and I really appreciate it. I'm so close to 300 subscribers, so I'm really, really wanting to get to 300 subscribers soon. Um, and yeah, very excited. Next week I will be uploading my Speed Clean Christmas edition with for you guys, which is gonna be very excited. I've never filmed kind of cleaning video on my channel so I thought it would be something nice to do for you guys um and now I've got all my little Christmassy festive cleaning products which would be amazing I've got Sephora as well which I bought from my Margings the winter spice one so make sure you go ahead and subscribe so that you can stay tuned for that video coming up next week but without further ado I will see you guys soon thank you for watching bye